everyone. Battery 100%. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. We're doing all right so far. Good morning. Let's see. How many people do we have so far? Uh, Misty, you're muted. Uh, can you tell me how many uh, board members we have here today so far? Okay. Um, looks like five so far. Yeah. Okay. Let's see view. Ah, there we are. Better view. Looks like Gina's coming on. Alex is out there. Yeah, I think Stuart, Stuart will be here shortly. Okay. Why don't we give it a couple of minutes before we officially start to let everybody get on? I know it's always a challenge to do. Misty, are you there? You are um, you are muted. Tom, I'm here. Alex. Ah, hello, Alex. Good morning. Looks like Gina's connecting. Let me see here. Gina. Hey, Stuart. Hey, Tom. How are you? Good so far. All right. Good. <laughs> Did I see John is there? Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't... Oh, hey, John. Good morning. Glad you got your mask on. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. You're prepared. <laughs> I gotta find mine. Shoot. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Ian. How are you? How is everybody? Still healthy. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I wanted. Nothing else. <laughs> That's the main thing. Yeah. Who else? All right, I believe we have a forum. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Oh, and there's Misty's screen. Okay. You know, you've got your hand up already. Okay, we haven't started the meeting yet. Okay. Can you see me well? Gustavo? Um, no, not yet. Gustavo? Uh, can you come for one second, please? Oh, where's Gustavo? <laughs> They cannot see me. Can you please help me? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Where's Misty? Hi, Misty. Can you see me? Can you see the video? Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Oh. Thank you, Gustavo. I'm going to Will Gustavo be joining the meeting today? No, no, he's in the he's impatient. You only have to call him to help me. Oh. Other Gustavo. Okay, got it. Hi, good, morning. <laughs> okay. Okay. good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank good you. morning. Yeah, he's impatient. There you go. That's that's fair. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Amy, do we have a quorum? 
or Misty, either one? Yes, we have, oh, we, we have one. And I think we can officially open the meeting. It is, what time is it here? It's 10.05, we're gonna open up the board of directors meeting of the North, North Figueroa Association. And uh, looks like we have a few new people on today. So I'd like to go around and have everybody introduce themselves. Um, and we can start with Quan up there. Hey, good morning. My name is Quan from Chrysalis, uh, our street maintenance team. Good morning, Quan. Good morning. Good morning. And I guess I should introduce myself too. I'm Tom Wilson and I'm the uh, president of the board. Very tall. John? Me next, uh, John Harb, board member. Good. And we have a bong there. Mm -hmm. Like to introduce yourself. Okay, Dale, how about yourself? Good morning, this is Dale Shin. I'm Corlin Companies. We manage the two buildings, actually three, 5711 through 5717, North Figueroa Street and 5900 through 5908, North Figueroa, as well as the building at 111 South Avenue 59. Great, mm -hmm. welcome uh, Misty, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Misty Iwatsu. I'm the executive director of the North Figaro Association. Stu? Hi, uh, Stu Rappaport, uh, vice president, and uh, over here at 5558 North Figaro. Gina. I'm Gina Alsa, I am board member. Uh, our business is in 5224 North Figaro. It's Gustavo Alsa ND, a medical corporation. I am a board member. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Mario. Mario, would you like to introduce yourself? You're on uh, mute. Okay. Amy. Amy, you know what? I'm a secretary. Okay. And we have Alex. Alex Rodisky, board member. Great. And then we have someone on the phone here, 213 number. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, this is Eugene Van Sice from the Los Angeles City Clerk's Office. Hello, Eugene. How are you today? Busy. <laughs> A lot of that going around. Okay, very good. Um, we are going to uh, start with the uh, public comments. If there's any comments out there, you'll have two minutes to speak. Please introduce yourself first. And um, there'll be no discussion of comments because they're not on the agenda. Would anybody like to speak? Anybody? Okay, whoops, okay. Then we will close the public comments. All right, uh, has everybody reviewed the mi minutes of our last meeting? Yep. Yes. yes. Yep. Okay, is there any questions or modifications? Okay, would anybody like to move to uh, approve the minutes? Yes, Alex Rudisky would like to uh, make a motion to approve the minutes. Great, is there a second? I second. Okay. All right, okay. I think that would be Gina. Yep. Right next time. Nope. All right, with that done, uh, we can move on to our vendors. Uh, we do not have anybody from CD1, I believe, today, Misty. Is that correct? Uh, no, they are unable to be here today. And LAPD the same, it looks like. How about a security report? We have security today. It's usually here, not today. Yeah, he is uh, trying to get on as well as Richard. So I'm working with them to try and get logged in. Okay, good. We'll come back to him then. All right. We can move on to uh, maintenance. That sounds like Quan. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. It's good to see everyone again. Yes. Uh, all right, so let's go over our December report. Uh, let's see how we close out the year. Uh, in December, we picked up uh, 792 trash bags, uh, a little bit more than November, but average. Um, we saw a slight increase in graffiti tags uh, at 128 compared to 113 in November. And bulky items, uh, 24 bulky items, uh, about average compared to 29 uh, back in November. We are still doing our eight hours of pressure washing. 
uh, pressure washing happens every second Wednesday of the month at 3.30 p.m. Um, other than that, uh, our crew is good. Uh, I'm just reminding our crew to stay safe out there. Um, you know, with the increase of COVID cases right now, uh, we're taking every precaution possible to, you know, clean out our equipment, um, socially distance, and to disinfect every day. Um, you know, from big bellies to benches to poles, uh, we're asking our workers to, you know, clean as much as they can on top of, you know, the trash and the graffiti that they're already doing. Um, any questions on stream mains? Um, back to your uh, uh, power washing, and that's mm -hmm. being done half of this, half of the boulevard at a time. Is that correct? Uh, I asked Alex to reach out to them to give them hot spots. Um, if Alex uh, has a big graffiti area that he needs to power, um, needs them to hit first, those um those are the first spots they will hit, and then uh, they will go back to their regular routes and hit a uh, couple blocks as much as they can. Very good. Okay. We had someone join on the iPad. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Jesse Rosas. How are you Jesse. doing? Happy Good. New Year to you. Thank you. Thank you. We're off to a strong start, I think. All Thank right. Um, Misty, have we gotten, doesn't look like we've gotten our, our security yet, have we? Still trying Not to yet. Still trying to get on. Are there any questions for Quan regarding the uh, maintenance? Okay. Very good. All right. Well, we're really moving on quickly then. Uh, Misty, would you like to make your report? So I did an annual, uh, annual report for us. Can you see that? Um, it just goes into what Chrysalis has done. Uh, over the years, and it gives an overview of all of our, um, yeah. how many trash bags we picked yeah. up, how many tags were removed. Um, and then it numero. also has, the, el que, what? El Excuse me, can I ask everybody to mute okay, themselves while this report is going on? Jesse, would you mind muting? Thank you. Okay. Go ahead, Misty. Sorry. Um, I have pictures of security as well, um, and then our information for the farmer's market. For the farmer's market, we distributed um, $28,700 in uh, CalFresh EBT, and we matched that um, amount with market match uh, $26,000 of that. Um, and that really helped people within the Highland Park community actually the northeast community to get more fruits and vegetables um our match is still uh thirty dollars with your ebt card uh just to help through the pandemic um anybody have any questions on that not on the farmer's market today yes okay yeah um and then we just have our map and then all of our information. Great. Is this going out to everyone today? Uh, everyone, Amy, Misty? Yeah, I just am, have to review to make sure there's no spelling mistakes or grammar and then um, I'll send it out. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Is there anything else anybody would like to? discuss on this or is there anything else misty yeah if anybody sees anything let me know yep as always um so i can fix it okay uh we have someone on galaxy note is that is that richard yeah do you miss you who that is is any would you like to introduce yourself it looks like richard <laughs> He's got a mask, though. I can't tell. All right. Whoever's on Galaxy Note 8, please introduce yourself when you can. All right. Hey, Sean, Sean's coming online. Okay, great. Then I'll wait a second to get Sean so that he can make his report. I don't think it's Richard. 
All right. No, we won't record it as Richard until somebody says something. And there's someone that talked to her? And there's someone that talked to her. Excuse me, I'm gonna, I gotta, let me have the little thing so I can be in a Zoom meeting, the little thing. Where, you, where your phone is on, let me borrow that. Where my phone is mm -hmm. The holder? Let me hold it so I can go outside and Excuse be me, is that, is that Richard? Yes. Richard, yes. could you please, yes. Uh, yes. yeah, thank you, that's what I needed. Okay, great. All righty, uh, Sean, are you in hey. a, hey, how are you, sir? I'm here. Good morning. Very good. Glad you made it on. Sean, would yes, you sir. like to give a report on security for us? Yes. Um, so for uh, December, we had uh, 18 calls uh, for service, uh, 246 uh, client contacts, 402 uh, public contacts, and uh, 12 graffiti uh, incidents reported. Um, client uh, contacts seem to take an seemed to went up in November and then down in December. So I'm still looking into uh, uh, why that was. Was it COVID related? I know we had a couple of personnel that were out and we had to use some backup officers uh, last minute uh, COVID related uh, issues. Um, but I'm still investigating um, the numbers. Um, other than that, um, no major issues uh, to report. Anything for security, any extra patrol requests? Sean, were there any particular uh, incidents that we need to know about or any spots that are being reported by your people is something we should pay attention to? No, just still having, you know, um, uh, you know, issues at, you know, 7-Eleven um, disturbances there. Um, the food for less uh parking lot area McDonald's is so we just kind of try to uh, drive through there uh, just show a presence um, you know just kind of uh, kind of a passive kind of a, a extra patrol um, strategy just to show our presence to let people know we're out there okay is a is the um, is it is it homeless parking in the uh, food for less or is it something related to food for less um it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of all the above, you know, you know, vagrancy, you know, people drinking in front of the store, bothering customers coming in. Um, there's an issue, uh, ongoing issue in the loading dock area um, where some of the, the homeless folks have blocked a fire exit. There's like a corridor that leads out the back of the, of the, uh, the food for less. And it's not a safe area to go back into um, if you're by yourself. And the store manager there has uh, notified LAPD about it. And if, if we see any activity, we get LAPD over there to kind of get their eyeballs on it and, and handle it accordingly. Um, but that that issue has been ongoing. Um, it did get cleaned up after a while. Um, we, you know, we've, we've met with some of the, the homeless folks back there and, and you know, built, built a rapport with them to try to gain their cooperation, um, especially when it comes to the, the private property trespassing type of issues. And, you know, by and large, you know, it's been no incident, but they kind of establish themselves back there and that becomes their home and what they're comfortable with and their little safe space. So it's kind of hard to convince them to, uh, to go elsewhere. I'll talk to the property manager as well and make sure it's all safe back there and in front as well. Right. Okay. Any questions for Sean? Yeah, I, I do have a comment referring to a breaking window on a bakery right on uh, Figueroa and Avenue 56. The early in the morning they broke into, I don't know if they want to steal the bicycle this on display, but uh, I would like to see the more the patrol to be visible on the, on the early in the morning during the night time as well uh, on the boulevard. Uh, because that incident happened before that. The broken, uh, close to Richard, broken the glass as well. But it, on the new grocery store, uh, eventually people started stealing some beer. So we have to keep an eye on the new uh, businesses coming into the area. Which, um, 
which bakery was that you said? The bakery is next, uh, this right there, next to the uh, office of uh, CD1. Is that the La Monarca? No, no, not a Monarca. This is 156, in fact. A Monarca is having a 58. Right. A 59. I know there's but Andy's Bakery. The, the, yeah, the bakery right next to. Uh, usually they open early in the morning, and when they came, they was broken the window. They have to fix it. So they, this happened last week. Got it. Okay. I'll talk to the manager of food for less and see if there's any issues that they need help with. Obviously, we can't do anything inside their store, but uh, certainly we'll talk to him and just make sure he's comfortable being here as a new business. Any other questions for Sean? Okay. Fine. Um, okay, we're going to move on here to the director's session. I, I do not have any report for today, so I will pass it on to Misty and the treasurer. Um, I just have some updates. Okay. Um, outdoor dining on FIG uh, will start on Friday. And um, the council office is looking to see if any doctors... Um, are interested, they're trying to do um, a community vaccination rollout. So if you're interested, uh, email the council office, or if you know anybody that'd be interested, email the council office, because um, they're looking for a place and they're um, looking for doctors and nurses, I guess, to administer the um, vaccine. What kind of a place would we need, Misty? Do you know? Uh, I indoor, don't know. Indoor, medical, non-medical? I don't know. No? Okay. I if you find know. out, let us know, because maybe one of us has a space that can be used. Yeah, I, I don't know if they want, or if they're looking for a drive through but they're <clears throat> looking for that and also to be able to staff it, so. Yeah, keep us informed. Yeah. Good. So that's, yeah, so that's important. Um, so if anybody has any leads um, on any medical personnel, let me know. Or actually, sorry, let the council office know. And then um, yeah, oh, and I already talked about the outdoor dining, yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, we can move on to treasurer's report. Okay. So this is our budget from last year. This is our, um, our budget. Can you see my cursor? Yes, mm -hmm. we can. Okay, so this is our budget, and then this is our actuals right here. So with the addition of um, extra security to help with COVID and extra sanitations, uh, we went over budget. We offset that with our um, grants that I had gotten um, and for the farmer's market grants. Um, this is also including extra farmer's market staff. So with the farmer's market grants and other grants, um, we had a uh, $83,000 that we um, were in the black for. Mm. Right, I would assume. Um, Misty, we're 65-ish. We're thousand uh, dollars short on our collections um is that money coming or is that yeah uh, not collectible it's coming yeah, no that's money coming i believe i'd have to uh take a look but i i do think that we have that um in our account yeah. with the city clerk's office i think the other uh issue was the security that we kicked up to more hours during during the covid situation so yeah. Um, we're going to have to look carefully at this for next year because I think the COVID situation is going to continue for quite some time. So we're going, keep, we're going to keep on things such as security and cleaning to make sure that we're safe out there. Yeah, the other thing is we also did decided this year not to uh, raise assessments. 
mm-hmm. to help everybody out. So um, we're going to have to relook at everything as we go on. Yeah. We'll keep security and maintenance what it, at, at, at it is at the level it is now until March. I think in March, we should probably talk about what we want to do for the future. Yes. Well, everybody else, we got to cut, tighten our belt. Okay. Are there any other questions on the financial statement? Oh, just one other quick thing on this. Um, we still have, I'm still awaiting uh, some money from um, the USDA and the California Department of Food and Ag, um, which helps cover the costs of the farmer, helps cover the costs of the farmer's market as far as staff. So this number under sidewalk ops and beautification does not include the additional grant money that we'll be getting in this year for last year's staffing needs. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Um, and then, let's, go ahead. Good. And then this is uh, our budget for 2021. Well, like you say, we're going to have to keep a tight eye on it. And uh, yep. March, we'll go into it in more detail. Okay. Yeah, and we are, um, we'll probably be expecting close to about $100,000 in grants for the farmer's market and other things. So that will help. That'll certainly yeah. help. Okay, hearing no other questions, what else is there, Misty, on this? Any questions on either of these? No. We're good. Any questions on this? Nope, that looks good. I think, that, like you yeah. said, as soon as you get it out. Yeah. Do one more check over and send it out because I think uh, people like to know what's going on. And you made it very concise and easy to read. So thank you. Um, I've been hearing from a lot of um, our patrons at the market and they're really thankful right now for um, us being able to offer the market match and um, being able to offer EBT to make their food stamps go further. So um, the community has obviously really been able to take advantage of it. So um, I think you guys all should be committed as far as making sure that the community is getting their fresh produce. Okay. All right, at this point, should we move on to open uh, new items? Yep. Okay. Anybody have anything they would like to, any of the board people have anything they'd like to bring up at this point? Uh, Tom, I don't have anything to bring up. This is Alex, but uh, I don't know if uh, Eugene from the city clerk's office has anything to uh, discuss. I'll leave that up to Eugene. Is he still there? Yeah, sorry, I was muted. Okay. Um, okay. No, not right away. Um, be reaching out to Misty probably tomorrow to discuss some items, but that's about it. Are there any new regulations uh, this year that we should know about? No, not that I'm aware of. Um, I understand they're allowing you to go back to outdoor dining, but beyond that, I don't. I don't see us going back to our office anytime soon. I understand that. Well, outdoor dining is good. So we'll see if we can do that safely. You've done a good job on the street. Oh, that's that. Goodness. Oh, just comment on the um, website. Can you hear me? No. Okay, hold on, let me. Okay, so um, our website uh, is going to um, be updated. So we're going to be working on that. We're going to be um, 
trying to put more information up there as far as um, I've been trying to keep up with all the COVID restrictions and the um, stay at home orders and the lifting of the stay at home orders. Um, and it's almost every day and I don't have, um, I'm not able to keep up with all the COVID stuff pretty regularly. So I'm looking to um, get some assistance as far as trying to get all the website updated um, so that everybody can have a one-stop shop on um, updated for public health. Uh, we'll put the annual report up. Um, or yeah, annual report and then anything else that's relevant. Again, always the minutes in the agenda are always on there. Uh, so people can go back and take a look. Um, well, we have our newsletters on there. Um, but I think the, in, any information with regards to changing the farmer's markets will also uh, be on there as well. So anybody have any questions about the website or um, additions that they want to, or changes that they want to see? I would advise that all the board members and anybody else who would like to um, go take a look again at the website and uh, just give us any suggestions you, you think would be helpful so that when we do these modifications, we can bring it up to date. It's not a, it's not a wildly exciting website, I must admit, but it's an information, it's a good source of information. Hope you all take a look at it. Okay, at this time, we're gonna um, move into closed session. So I thank everybody here that is not on the board. I thank you for attending. And at this point, you can check out and uh, we'll go on with our meeting in about five minutes. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Amy, Mario. It was Mario. Okay. Um, Galaxy Note 8, is that Richard? Yes. Oh, okay, good. All right. Glad can you hear me okay? Now we can. Yes, indeed. Yes. Glad you're here. Okay. We're going to just uh, uh, relax for a minute or two.